Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jason here. So today I'm going to show you three different ways to use banana skins to help fertilise your garden. Banana skins can be used as an organic fertiliser as it contains potassium, phosphorus and magnesium. All you need to do is just wash some banana skins, chop them up and then put them into a container and then top up that container with some water. Then seal up that container and then put it to one side for about five to seven days. To make a banana powder fertilizer, pop some banana skins into the oven for about three hours at 100 degrees. Three hours later. We're baking them at a low heat to get rid of the moisture in the skins, but also to make sure that we don't lose any precious nutrients. You'll know when the moisture's gone because you'll hear that crunching sound. Here I am, trying to be bougie, using this fancy contraption because I'm making a YouTube video. But let me tell you, 10 minutes of this grinding business took it right out of me. So I just shoved all of my banana skins into a blender and whizzed away. You want to get it ground down to a really fine powder. The powder will act as a slow release organic fertilizer as it helps to encourage blooms what i'm going to do is mix a bit of this fertilizer into my cut flowers like my zinnias and cosmos when i'm potting them up ready to go out onto the cloud garden tomatoes and peppers will also do really really well with this fertilizer and to store it i just found any old jar with a lid Make sure that it's an airtight container just to stop any fungus or molds getting in. Now here's my banana tea around about six days later. And you want to make sure that your banana skins are fully submerged and that there's no mold on top. If there is mold on top, then you're going to have to throw it away and start again. On day seven, I separate the soaked banana skins and then just put them to one side. This by far is the best method of using the banana skins. Just chop them up into fine pieces to help them break down quicker and then add it to your compost. Now that the banana skins have been sifted out, I pour the tea back into the container. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you will know that I try to repurpose plastic where I can. This bottle doubles up as a ratchet watering can. I just pop a hole in the lid and then I can water my plants with it. This works great on my seedlings indoors because I can control the direction of the water and then it makes sure that I don't get too much water on the leaves of the young plants. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you again soon. Bye!